I mean. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's asking us to factor the problem, all right? So when we need to factor the problem, we need to write our expression as a multiple, or as, I'm sorry, as the product of our two factors, all right? So that's all we're trying to do is trying to write this as a multiplication problem. So the first thing we want to do, the easiest way to write something as a multiplication problem is look at it and see, can you divide an even number out of it? Because look, if I say write 12, as a multiplication number, you say, oh, well, 2 divides into 12, so therefore 2 times 6. Well, that is a factored form of 12. All right? I know it's not prime factored, but that's a factored form of 12. So we look at here and we say, what do these all have in common? 5x squared, a negative 18x, and a positive 9. So remember, last time or, or a couple times, you know, we, we prime factor them, factorization them out and see what exactly they share in common. You can do that with all these if you want to. But I'll tell you right now, this 5 is a prime number. Negative 18 or a 9 do not have a 5 in them. So therefore, already I know that they don't share anything. This is an x squared. This has an x. But this term doesn't have an x. So automatically, I know off the bat, they don't share anything. right? So we can't divide out a simple number. So we're going to use a method that's going to help us figure out how can we rewrite it as a product, and that's going to be use our x. So in our x, we do a times c and b on the bottom, where ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is our coefficient of our x squared term. So I do 5 times 9, which is 45, and then I get a negative 18. So now I need to think about what two numbers multiply to give me a positive 45 but add up to give me a negative 18. Well, when you start looking through the multiples of 45, you're going to get negative 15 and negative 3. All right? So going back to what we've already kind of talked about before, we can represent that in two different ways. All right? We can represent it. Um, yeah, all right. One thing, guys, when we're factoring, what I want you to do is you can think about it as a rect as that's going to be your rectangle. And what we're simply trying to do is figure out what the two side legs are. So I need to figure out what these two boxes are as far as my area. So that's negative 15, and that would be a negative 3x. Or we can simply just rewrite this and just read 5x squared minus 15x minus 3x plus 9. All right? If you notice, this is the same as this, which really is the same as this answer. Because what's negative 15 <coughs> minus 3x? Negative 18. So Markel, I didn't change the answer at all. This is equal to that, which is equal to this. So now there's two different ways we can find the answer. All I did, you see what I did, Jenna? All I did was I took my diamond, or I took my x, to figure out negative 15 and negative 3. Negative 15 times negative 3 gives me 45 which was a times c, and they add up to give me negative 18, which is my b. So now, to figure out what the two, uh, two binomials are going to be, we can take the inner box and say, all right, what two numbers multiply to give you 5x squared? Well, you could say x times 5x. 5x times x gives you 5 squared. 5x times what gives you negative 15x? Negative 3. Um, x times x times what gives you negative 3 is <coughs> negative 3. Does negative 3 times negative 3 give you 9? Yes, it does. So if that way doesn't make sense to you, you don't say, oh, I don't like going from area to side lengths. You can also just write it all the way out and factor by grouping. So what do a 5x squared minus a 15x share? Do they share anything? You can say, yeah, they do share. They have a 5 and an x in common. So what I can do is I can divide out a 5 and an x. Therefore, leaving me with an x minus 3. And then here, I can factor out a negative 3. Because this negative 3 and a positive 9, I can factor out a negative 3 that will leave me with an x minus 3. So now I look at this whole expression, and I say, what do these share? Well, Andre, they share an x minus 3. So I can factor out an x minus 3. And then what I obtain is a 5x minus 3. And what you'll notice is x minus 3, 5x minus 3. Exact same answer both ways. All right? 
So there's two different ways to solve my fact. I didn't make right? sense. I'm sorry? It didn't make sense. What made good sense? Um, from when you, after the big old X thing, like, how you got all your five X. All I did was, do you see this? Is this mathematically different than that? No. So it's not mathematically different at all. It's just a way for us to rearrange this expression. Because remember, we're trying to write, our whole purpose of this is to write it as a product. Does this times this, is that a product? Yes. Does this times this equal that? It does. So we, how do we get from here to there? Well, we instead of, we can't factor the same number out of everything, right? They don't share everything in common. So we just focus on splitting it up. Factor the first two, factor the last two. All right, or if you look at the area, all I did was remember you have the whole area here. Define factoring means what times what is going to give you your area. So if here's my area, you need to figure out what are going to be your two side lengths that are going to multiply to give you that. So again, what we're doing here, if you look at, all I'm doing is I'm factoring the first two terms and I'm factoring the last, you know, I'm factoring those last terms. That's really all we're simply doing. Yes, Ross. Okay. So the answer is not going to be. X minus 15 to X minus 3? No, because watch. Listen, look at this. X minus 15 times X minus 3. Does that multiply to give you that? No. So that's why you can determine. If, Rosalind, we didn't have an A in front of here, yes, that's how we'd work our end. We just work, find our X, right? And then we'd, we could figure out that these would be your two um, factors. But since I have an A, since I'm now multiplying by 5, we're gonna have to factor out to get our answer. Okay? You can do it any way you want to.